Hello children. Today I'll teach standard 10 literature one short story The Blue Bit written by Nora Burke. Nora Burke was an English writer of novels and non-fiction. She was the daughter of a forest officer in India. She spent her early childhood traveling through forests on elephant back. During those days, she observed jungle life very closely. In the blue bit, Burke paints a vivid graphic picture, rich in details, of an exciting jungle adventure, an encounter between Sibia, a 12-year-old girl, and a crocodile as an everyday event. Burke makes skillful use of suspense and detailed visual image that make the story come alive for the reader. Now, let me tell you the story in brief. Sibia, a young tribal girl of 12 years, wants a blue bead for her necklace. One day, she witnesses a crocodile attacking a woman. Sibia rushes to the woman's defense and attacks the crocodile. The crocodile is injured in the eye by Sibia's hayfork and backs away. Later, when Sibia returns to the spot, she finds a blue bead there and is overcome with joy. Now, two important characters of the story. One is the crocodile, which is the antagonist and Sibia, protagonist. Now, let me tell you a brief detail about the crocodile. The crocodile was a fully grown and twice the length of a tall man. He was a ferocious and wild and very powerful. He lived in the deep water of the great river in the jungle. This was his natural habitat. He had a powerful tail which propelled his body at a great speed and a strong jaws which could clamp down forcefully on his prey and drag it down to the depth of the river. The only way to kill him was to pierce his eyes or his soft underarms. The crocodile rested in a, the shallow water among logs and waited for his prey. He ate pie dogs, fish, deer, monkeys, thin cows and specially dead humans. Now it's about Sibia. Sibia was a 12 years old girl. She was very poor. She could not get enough food. She dressed in rags clothes and she used to enjoy looking at sweets, bangles, clothes and other fineries in the bazaar through though she could not afford them. She wanted a blue bit for her necklace. Let's see some details about Sibia's poverty. Sibia was living in a mud hut. And in the story, it showed that she is thin, starving child lived in a mud hut in the jungle village. She is dressed in an earth color rag and has torn the rags in two parts to make a skirt and a sari. But she was a happy girl. She was content of what she had. Though she wanted beautiful things but did not hanker after that. Although she was a child, she had to work as much as any grown-up woman. She could 
husk, horn, gathered steaks, put, dung to dry, cooked, weeded. She could carry and fetch water. She could cra- cut grass for fodders. Sibia went to the bazaar with her parents and brothers. There she saw many beautiful things like glass beads, glass bangles, sweat maids, new cotton clothes stamped at the edge with the maker's sign of a tiger's head, satin sewn with real silver thread, tin trays from Birmingham, sari embroidered with chips of looking glass, Dawn colored silks, locked chest with turquoise and opals, and a toy box tinkling, which is having tinkling bells, and a yellow woolen chicken jumping out. To her, these are the wonders of the world. She, though, enjoyed the sight. Of all these things she never demanded. However, she did long for something. Some of the women in the village used to wear necklaces made of lal lal beaches. What is that? These were tiny scarlet seeds that grown everywhere in jungle. And those women made new one every year. As the colors of the seeds faded over the time. Sibia also was making one and was very happy to think how nice it would be to hear that rustling swish round her neck. But there was a problem. Each seed seed had to be drilled with a red hot needle. And the family needle was broken. So she had to wait for another needle to buy. She playfully wished she could have strings and strings of glass and beads, anklets, earrings, nose rings and bangles that available in the bazaar. Near Sibia's village there was a Gujar's encampment. They were nomads. They travelled from place to place with their buffaloes. They made temporary camp in suitable places. They sold white butter and milk. They also sold young male buffalo for tiger bait. These Gujar women used to wear tight trousers and silver jewellery. And the men went out of the camp. The women stayed behind to take care of the camp. So this video is still this much. I'll send the next video where I'll explain the next part of the story. So thank you.